dictionary in python dictionary items are ordered only from python 3.7 and the higher versions dictionary items are changeable and indexed and you cannot have duplicate items in your dictionary python made it very easy to work with the dictionary data type besides us we talked about list tuple and set in the previous chapters and most of the things are common between list set tuple and dictionary in case you did not follow the previous chapters order means that the data appears the same order as you created changeable means that you can modify each item of your dictionary and indexed means that you cannot access dictionary items using index number no duplicate members means that you cannot have duplicated key value pairs in your dictionary in case you don't know what dictionaries are dictionary is a data type that allows you to store key value pairs in your variable as you see here we have keys and for each key there is an associated value first to create a variable type dictionary you gave a name for your variable assign main operator and then curly brackets and in your curly bracket you add a key and then colon you provide value and then you separate the items with comma the items in your dictionary can have different data types here we have an item data type is string a number boolean and here we have an item data type list another item data type tuple and another item data type dictionary so dictionary in dictionary and this child dictionary has an item with the key stored and the value a function you can also create a variable type dictionary using the ticket keyword or ticket constructor and then pass key value pairs item or data to your dictionary here we have dictionary with name maria age 21 id 12457 here we have a very funny dictionary i hope you find it funny that's the point wife 2 this is a dictionary with a name and in which year she was the wife and here you have nested dictionary you can have unlimited child dictionaries in your dictionary because it is very easy and simple to work with dictionaries i prefer everything to save time otherwise the video gate is very long for nothing how to access dictionary items to access dictionary items you can use square brackets and then pass the name of your key and you get that item in your dictionary let us print this funks we got the item with the key functions this is another dictionary which has a key stored and a value is stored core it is a function as you see here we have these functions and then it's stored and it has a stored core value as it is function we got this item and is stored in another variable called funks because funks is also a dictionary and it has an item with the stored key and the stored key holds a function that is why you see it also with another color so you can run or execute this function so when you start this it calls this function 
start car and here we have just one line code that prints to the console car is starting you have also the get method to get items of your dictionary so from the ticket constructor we get the name and the username is maria the same way you can get uh, the items of the nested dictionary or the child dictionaries you pass the key of your dictionary in square brackets and then it returns the value the value can be any data type it can be a string a number another dictionary a list so in our case the first one returns dictionary and the second one returns a list so a list is indexed you can use index number to get its value as you see the second child is also a dictionary so you can use square brackets to get the values you see child name fatma we have here name fatma in dictionary methods you have a uh, methods uh, that you can use on your dictionary for example you have a method to get the length of your dictionary len and then pass your dictionary and this dictionary length is it when you get the length of your dictionary it only gets the amount of items that you have as the main item in your dictionary so the nested dictionaries are not counted or the nested items are also not counted so it is important that you understand that the method keys returns a list of all the keys in your dictionary as you see here we have model brand motor new year option extra functions the same way you can get the values the method values returns a list of all the values in your dictionary the returned items in your list when you call the keys method have the same order as the return items that you call the values method the model is the first item in the list so it is value is also the first item brand is the second item land rover is or the value is also the second item so it is in the same order the items method returns the key value pairs in the form of a tuple here we have the keys here we have the values and here we have the value pairs in the form of tuple this is tuple this is model of the value brand the value so yeah the keyword value the keyword value the keyword value in the form of tuple in a list there is something you should know about uh, the keys values and items method that they are just views you can call them one time in your program or in your context that's enough if you change your dictionary after you call this methods you will still get the expected and correct result for example i call this three methods here let us change in the car i say car brand i change it to another value to another thing for example bmw we change the dictionary after we call this three methods so let us see the keys are the same we did not change in the key so it stays the same the value from land rover changed to bmw and here in the item also brand bmw 
so you see that it is something very interesting about uh, dictionary you can also check if a key exists in your dictionary or not by using the name of your key and in membership operator on your dictionary let us bring this also here the brand is car info brand so the brand is land rover how to change dictionary items you can change dictionary item using the key name like here car info square bracket and the name of the key is motor we change it from 5 to 3.5 the result another way to change dictionary item is the update method in the update method you pass another dictionary with a key and value if the key would exist it modifies its value if the key would not exist it adds the key so the key name is year and we get year before is 2023 and after is 2021 how to add new items to your dictionary the same way you modify dictionary items or change dictionary items you can also add dictionary items for example in the core info we add new item stop to the functions let us bring it to the console before changing and after changing so functions functions before changing there is only one item with the key start after that we have also a new item stop in the value is stop core type function you can also add new item to your dictionary using update you pass a new dictionary key value pairs so as you see here we have color silver and dark glass false another way to add new items to your dictionary is by using set default here we have a dictionary test ticket the set default takes two parameters or two arguments the first one is the key the second one is the value if the key would exist in your dictionary it returns its value if the key would not exist in your dictionary it adds the key with the associated value so in this dictionary we have uh, item one but we don't have item two so this will add item two to our dictionary so here we have item one and item two if i change this to item one here you see we have item one with its original value 2015 set default does not modify the dictionary item but if the key does not exist it adds that key and the value into your dictionary in either way it returns the value so in this case the return value we store the return value into a new variable called x so here say after 15 if i change this to item 2 it is after 455 which is uh, the value of item 2 here how to copy a dictionary or take a copy of a dictionary when you assign a dictionary to a new variable it is not copying a dictionary it is just referring to a variable and if you change the variable that you refer to then the new variable will also automatically change to copy you have two methods use the copy method or create a new dictionary using the ticket constructor and passing here the dictionary that you want to copy let us change in the laptop laptop uh, system type we change the system type from 64 bit to 
86 bit for example and then printing this one is laptop and this one is the copy we modify the laptop and uh, the copy stays as the original which was 64 bit but if you print the laptop one you see that both are the same how to remove items from your dictionary you have many methods to remove items from your dictionary the one is using the pop method the pop method removes item with a specified key name so you don't have the item with maiden key another method is using pop item pop item removes the last item note that the in older versions of python the pop item will remove random items another way to delete an item from your dictionary is by using that tail keyword tail keyword your dictionary and then passing here the key name to empty your dictionary you can use the clear keyword see here is an empty dictionary by using the del keyword on your dictionary you remove the entire variable and if you use that variable you will get error looping through dictionary you have all these ways to look through your dictionary item in your dictionary this the item is with head link by using this you can get also the value you can also loop through keys for example let us bring this uh, inside of this the key is width and the value is this one then you can loop through values the value is 80 90 120 and blah 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 then you can loop through key value pairs at the same time using the items the key is with value 80 and you have the key value pairs that was it i hope it was helpful and i hope you learned something from this uh, chapter if it was not clear or if anything in this chapter was not clear please let me know in the comment i will make another video or ask if you have any question ask in the comment i answer as soon as possible